Hey guys, this is Hoodie Kagi here, back with another video. Today I'm going to be doing my third tier list on YouTube. Today's Naruto tier list ranking is going to be all of Sasuke's forms and transformations ranked in a tier list video. Just like this last video, which was Naruto forms and transformations tier list, make sure you guys check that out, along with the Naruto Kage tier list. Make sure you check that out, check that out also. Just like with the Naruto tier list, I just said I saw a lot of forms and evolution and transformation from him, from him so I decided to rank them into a, a D level to a God level. S and God are not at the same level. S is like, I'd say Kage level in my opinion. So without further ado, let's get started. Like the last video, I'm going to be doing them in order as they were showcased or seen in the series so I don't get confused or you guys don't get confused. The first one that was showcased is um free getting Sasuke when he was a little kid. Now I'm gonna be I'm putting him in D, but I just wanna say this. I'm scaling him from like like when he was born to um to, to when he was in the academy. Before he was even a uh, before he was even into the cat into a the academy. This is just him from birth to just everything free getting. And in some scenes, it showed that he was able to use the fireball due to, not to any great extent, a few flames, but not to like the extent that Fugaku or Itachi can use it. And he was, he had limited knowledge of Shuriken Jutsu, so he's an obvious D. The next one I'll showcase was Sasuke Genin. This is um, him just getting base form. Yeah, just getting base form. This one's actually pretty impressive. He has, I'd say, Chunin level, if not Jonin level type jutsu at this point. He was the first one to touch the bells in Kakashi's test. On his own, he was able to he was able to fight off a real Shimaru in the Chunin exams. Uh, it was like the first, yeah, it was the first or second stage in the the forest. He was able to fight him off with a broken or an injured leg. I think that's pretty impressive on his part. He, like, like he can use Shuriken Jutsu. He has knowledge in Genjutsu. Impressive Taijutsu for his age. And he, had, he can use he, he has like I'd say Chunin level Jutsu. Ninjutsu. And he has a great use of the Uchiha's famous great fireball technique fire release Jutsu. So I yeah I put him in C. Yeah I think he's like he, no matter how you put it he's a C. Yeah he's a C list. He's a C list transformation or form or ever. Yeah or form. The next one that I'll showcase was incomplete shining on Sasuke. Before I rank him, yeah this one could only really sense chakra or see chakra better better than his better than his companions or peers. Um, there's n really not much to say. I mean, he didn't. It's not three Tomo or two Tomo. It's only one Tomo. We saw this when he was with Itachi the first time that they were shown together in the series. Yeah, it wasn't really that impressive. He could read some movements, but he couldn't really read that much. Yeah, he couldn't read movements like a regular three Tome complete Sharingan. Yeah, complete Sharingan user could. He could only sense Chakra better than his regular peers could. There's not much to say. He's a C-list. He's just above the getting up Sasuke. The next one that was shown is her smart Sasuke. This, okay, no, I'd put him, yeah, I'm gonna put him in low Bs for now. Only because in this form, he uses a shining gun. And if you, if you were to look back in, in the Magna, you would show that when he was, um, breaking or going against Hawk, yeah, no, Zaku, the, the sound three, yeah, team go to. He was shown to be faster or have faster, faster than sound like reactions when he was going against Team Team Dosu. But overall, a major weakness in this form is that he loses some sense of control. Even though he might have his strength and speed somewhat significantly increased, I think he loses some of his technique and yeah, technique and abilities. I think it's just really based on strength. And speed and you could argue a little boost in chakra the next one i'll transform was orochi's maru orochi maru's influence curse mark they call it there's not much to say about this form it really isn't irrelevant i think it's i don't even think it's canon i think it was an anime only form this only is uh, yeah it's anime only it's not really canon i think the writers were just taking 
yeah, just putting a little a push there. It, it just describes him as being able to use or having a smudge of Orochimaru's English or chakra, you might say, in it. It's not much to say, and I'll even go to the extent of just, yeah, just putting him in D. There's really not much to say about this one. The next one was Sharingan, yeah, Cha um, Sas Sasuke in part one was full Sharingan. I'm pretty sure he used this um, form or, yeah, form or Sharingan, yeah, complete Sharingan against Naruto at the final battle. Now with this Sharingan, he can predict and read movements. That's pretty impressive. Well, but it's normal for all Shinichiya who has to sh pull Sharingan on lock. Yeah, I would put him. I'm not. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm going to put him below quick Curse Mark Sharingan. Only because with the Curse Mark, he has a boost. He has that boost in strength and speed. But at the same time, the complete Sharingan without the Curse Mark, his techniques are more refined. He can read. Yeah. Actually, I say that he could beat. A curse mark just because when you go into curse mark you lose a little self-control a sense of control and just because your strength and speed are increased somewhat significantly yeah I mean, your nin yeah you, your technique is less sloppy and this one is like the it, this one with the shiny guys the epitome of technique of Sasuke in part one I think you can take on curse mark yeah it's not that much of an argue now we're moving on to part no first we have to Put, even though this was showcased in part two, it's still a, a form that was sho um, first showcased in part one. This one is Curse Mark version two. He uses against the in yeah he uses against Naruto in the fight in the final valley. This one I is this actually I'm gonna put him in high B. This one is actually one of my favorite forms just because he can fly and it's a significant increase in his chakra, but the wings are actually pretty cool. I don't think it does really that much anything. Um, he can regrow limbs. He can heal faster. Yeah, it's a better version of the curse mark. One of the final versions of the curse mark. But I don't really think it's that much of an increase in chakra speed and strength that I can put him in A. So that's why he's a high B. The next one introduced was um Manke Go Shining on. Yeah, it's yeah. No, for the second, one, the next one that we need was Sasuke Part Two Base Form. Not much to say about this form. Well, there is stuff to say. Um, he has a death jutsu and lightning style and fire style. With he went under training of Orochimaru. His chakra became. He had an increase in chakra. Of course, he grew. He grew older. Yeah, I mean, not much to say about this form. Not because it's just weak or anything. Just because. It's just, yeah, he, yeah, he became more stronger, more deadlier as a shinobi, and more, yeah, more feared as a shinobi, and he was able to kill Orochimaru in this form. But I'm not gonna overrate him or like push him to A or anything, not even the low A's, just because there are forms on this level that won't even think twice about just clapping him. Like it's not, it's not an option. Okay, now we have the main Kago Sharingan. Yeah, I put him in low A. Yeah, he unlocked this form during the fight, or at the end of the fight, or even after the fight against Isachi. And Isachi told him the truth about the Uchiha clan downfall. Yeah, yeah, he unlocked this form. He was able to get Amarasu with this form, um, Susanoo with this form, but he could only access Susanoo ribcage at that time. Yeah, yeah, he was able to take on Killer B, the perfect Jinjiriki, in tail beast mode with this form. It, the perfect Jinjiriki. Yeah, he was able to hold his own against even when he um Killer B manifested the Tail Beast Chakra and he summoned the Tail Beast. He was still able to handle his own, and that's pretty impressive for uh just one person to be able to take on the Tail Beast. And very few Naruto characters can do this at this point in time. The next one that was introduced was Sasuke. Yeah, Sasuke Susanoo on Rip Page. I'm putting him in S above the main King of Shine now. Only because this ribcage was able to fend off the most strongest character, okay, what some of the most strongest characters in Naruto, which was the five Kage that included Tsunade, Anoki, A, Mei, and Mu, Mu, yeah, Mifun was there from the land of Iron, but technically he's not a, he's not considered a Kage, and this was able to take on God, and I, the fact that A was only able to take a piece 
out of the rib cage and, and, and he was in lightning chakra mode and, and he and he's the fastest shinobi at, in his time with this mode speaks a lot of volume to these forms and durability but, Susa, but even though Sus, Susano is a, a, a form known for its durability and its defense yeah yeah it's just yeah it just means volume to so defense that even A couldn't take him on and A is obviously an S level maybe would just fetch him a god level character in the series at this point in time to move now we're moving on the next one that was showcased yeah it was um the skeleton of susana i'm putting him in the same level as he took on an s level character which was donzo and donzo had like uh, like 50 shine guns glued onto his body he could use wood release even though i don't think in my opinion i don't think donzo all Don's abilities were shown into full, uh, full, full, sh fully showcased in this fight. I think Donzo could have done more. Could have at least given up a given a better fight against Sasuke. Even though I know Sasuke was in the Mankiko Sharingan, he had the Susanoo. I still think he could have proven a uh, given, just given a better effort or a fight. I think the, I think the 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 writers really sh underrated him in this fight. It didn't really show his show showcase the abilities to the to his full potential anyway this form is still a strong mode donzo and s level uh, yeah i'd put him in s level maybe high a level character was not even able to leave a scratch on it yeah there's not much to say he there it wasn't really shown that much yeah yeah it's just an s level the next we have is humanoid yeah no we have the eternal man can go showcase okay i'm gonna put him in a above susano there's really not much to say about this form no offense i mean yeah i mean and the weakness is that you just can go blind from it yeah there's not really much to say there wasn't really showcased in the series not much of his abilities are like not much of his abilities are showcased at all in the series with any anybody and in, with the eternal man could go shine on came the armor no the armored Susano form. This form, okay, yeah, I'm gonna put him in low S, maybe even high A, only because this form is only shown in an outburst of chakra or power when Sasuke got his eternal magical shine on. I wouldn't put him anywhere else, anywhere higher. Oh, I put him lower, but I wouldn't put him anywhere higher, not even close to God level. Yeah, I wouldn't, just because he has that armor, I will put him above the ribcage and the skeleton just because of that armor I, it wasn't really showcased but i guess he could take more he has more durability he could take more of a hit next we have the humanoid ses, humanoid sesano same 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 preface for all the sesano forms he's an s level not god this form was used during the sport shinobi world war as for other forms but it wasn't he didn't yeah, it's pretty strong. It went. It, it's on the level of Naruto's Kirby, not even Kirby Chakra mode. I'd say on the level of his Tail Beast mode. Not when he got the um. Not when he got Chakra from Hagoroma or Sage of Six Rags. I just think it's on par with his regular Tail Beast mode. But I wouldn't say anything. I wouldn't overrate it or say anything else than it put him in S. Like the other Susano forms, it's really not much to say. The only one that I felt like what was explored into depth was the ribcage and showed its full abilities was the ribcage, flying Susano and Azur and um Hagarama Tail Beast Chakra Susano. Yeah, I would say and then you have the next one that will showcase the Senjutsu Susano. It's, it really was just a boost of power. Yeah, it really was a okay. Yeah, I wouldn't even think much about him. It really was a just a tiny boost of power, just like what would have happened with Curse Mark in base form. It's just a boost in strength and speed. Okay, you can't really have speed in the Susano mode or Susano form. Yeah, there's really not much mobility, that much mobility in any of these Susano forms. Maybe Humanoid and Senjutsu, but with Armored, yes, he has more durability, but just it has very minimal mobility. The only upper body movements, no really lower body, even like because he didn't have any legs. Okay, yeah, on Senjutsu, yeah, he was able to, even though he had this curse mark from move by Itachi, he was still able to sync and synchronize with Jugo's chakra, and Jugo was able to get him chakra. The, the, there's only really, we 
we didn't really see a major a, a major difference in his power, but I, we did see a, a difference in his appearance. He just really had the curse mark tattooed all over his. I, it looks like Amaratu, but it's not. It's just curse mark. Ta it's just curse mark um, put on his um, suit you now. Yeah. And he can use the blade, but you can say the same thing about humanoid. He can have an arrow and the blade. Okay, now it's time to get into the god level forms of this tier list of Sasuke forms and um, transformations tier list. Okay, the next one that I'll showcase. Actually, I'm gonna do Sasuke Rene Shining God. This is when he got his Renegon. Now, th in my opinion, during the Naruto Shippuden, this form was actually pretty much underrated and downplayed just because Sa Sasuke could do so much with the Rinnegan and showcase and he showcased more of the abilities in more so just because he got older and he had it more he has experience I get it that this form that I am talking about right now didn't really have the Rinnegan for that much of a time and didn't really have I wouldn't say full full potential or experience in it but just because the things he could have done against the fight in Naruto that might have changed the battle by teleportation to Baku. No, he yeah, he could use Shibaku Dante Tensei and he did use Shibaku Tensei against the Tail Beast. And yeah, and his Genjutsu level is on his Genjutsu level is just amazing. He was able to take on Sakura. But even though Sakura is not very she, at this time, yes, I consider a level shinobi. Just nothing to nothing to shock her or anything. He was able to take her on the Genjutsu in a split second. In this form, he was able to Genjutsu the Tail Beast without even eye contact on all of them. And he was able to seal their chakra. So I wouldn't, but I think that he was underrated. Uh, in this form, it's underrated. He could have done so much things. He could have done so much things, so much more things against the Naruto fight using the Renegon. But I understand he didn't have the, he wasn't able to access the full power at the time. The next one was Complete Body, the Flying Susano. This one is S level, I mean, not even S level, God level. It's, he was, he was, so he was the Susano in this fight with Naruto or, or part of the fight. Just not even that a much of a significant part of the fight. Just a small, a small part of this fight. He was able to use, um, um, Jidori in this, um, form. And he can fly. I mean, there's not much to say about this. It's, it's really, okay, he has more experience. Okay, this, this is just like this other Susano forms. I think, but it's the complete form. He has more experience in it, and he can utilize more jutsu to it. it. Like he can utilize Karen, Shidori, and he can summon two. And he can summon two blades instead of one. Just like he can summon two blades instead of one. Just like the human lord Susano or the Senjutsu Susano. Yeah, he, there's not really much to say. I'm not trying to downplay what I'm saying. There's not much to say. I'm really, I'm really. I'm really um, vouching for this form. Yeah, I'm just saying there's not much to say because this the power speaks for itself. You can in the fight he really showcases his abilities doing this fine complete body Susano form. The next one that I'll showcase is the easiest god. Level. I think it's just, I'm gonna be honest, the strongest form in this tier list only because he was able to take he was able to absorb all the tail beast chakra and Transform it into his own chakra signature, his own his own lightning chakra signature. Yeah, that's pretty impressive on its own. The fact he was able to do it so quickly in his fight against Naruto. This is just God level. He has all the tail beast chakra. He, he was able to suck that out with the running gun, showing that he had some knowledge and experience in the running gun at this point in time, but not enough to win the fight. Anyway, there's not much to be said. The, he was on par with Naruto's Asura Kuroba mode. And Naruto is the most powerful character in the series. With this form, he was easily on. He's easily, if not better, than equal with the most powerful character in the Naruto universe or fandom. Now, the last form that I'll showcase in this was the Boruto. I think, yeah, I like this form. I'm not gonna put him above the Tail Beast Chakra Susano. Just because that's a form that's a form that I don't think he will ever achieve again and ever get as strong as that again. Same okay, I'm not gonna say same as Naruto can not because Naruto can access the same form he used in that fight. But it stated that Kurama did get weaker from Naruto to Baruto as he didn't spend time training. Well he we did see some of his newly learned abilities in Naruto the last, he just didn't spend as much time training as Hokage and Baruto. 
But here's the thing, Sasuke has been training and he's gotten used to fighting without an arm. He's able to take on Shimomoshi Kiko and Naruto. Yeah, he's been training. He he's like he has mast I'd say so, yeah, he has like he has mastery over the running on. That's what I'm gonna say. He can use his teleportation more easier and more quicker and more he has more he can use the more advanced jutsu aspect of this Renegade. Yeah, I think okay, I personally think that in Boruto at this point in time, Sasuke could be but um yeah, Sasuke could be Naruto at this point in time. Only because Naruto didn't spend that much time training because he was kind of he had responsibilities and Sasuke was training, he was able to go he was able to go toe to toe one v one with members of Kaguya's family. Yeah, the I yeah, I wouldn't say that Naruto could beat him. That, yes, Naruto does have grandma on his side, but I wouldn't say he could beat Sasuke due to all the training Sasuke has, even if Naruto has his second arm, Sasuke doesn't have arm, he's still able to own his own. Yeah, that's all I really have to say in this video. Thank you for watching, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Oh, tell me, tell me in the comments any other videos you guys would like to see. And make sure you guys check out my other tier list videos. Well, that's it for this video, make sure you subscribe, tune in for more.